Hello everybody, Max here with A1 Website Pro and today I'm pretty excited about tell, telling you about this home inventory app and the changes that I made to it. I've made a lot of changes that's going to help you. Uh, for number one, I, I updated it so you can download your entire inventory and you can have it, you can print it out, uh, you know, just download it to your computer. I know a lot of times whenever you put a lot of work into the inventory, uh, you'll have, you know, you'll be like, well, what if the website goes away? What if it crashes? What if it updates? Uh, I assure you I'm not going to do that because I use this thing every day and it's just really help organize my life, especially, uh, you know, whenever you have lots of stuff. So, so, and, and the other great thing about this app is you don't have to uh, do it all at once. You know, I had an old fellow tell me one time, he says, Maximus, how do you eat an elephant? And I said, how? He says, one bite at a time. So basically, this is this is kind of what the app is based off of. You see, I got this bin, I number it bin number three, okay. And then I have a bunch of junk, and I, I got like a hundred of these things, you know, uh, full of different little uh, pieces and parts and stuff like that. And uh, I just want to know what's in them, and I want to be able to find it quickly. And then I have bigger bins with stuff in it. Uh, and then I want to know, number one, where they're located and what bin is the merchandise in. So when I go to search for it. So uh, let me take you over to the app right now. Oh, and also you can use it on your Android phone, your Mac computer, your Windows computer, your Linux computer. There, You can virtually use this app anywhere, okay? And it's not just... Uh, based upon one operating system all right so uh, let me show you basically what it what it does and what it's like and the updates that i made for it so let me uh, take off my ugly mug from the uh, the screen here and get right to the app you look uh, these are the updates that i've see i started it back in july 13th 2022 and i find that i use it every day and my sons use it every day too that's this is how handy this is and one of the things that i have 449 items entered in it and that this gives us an estimated value of what they're worth but let's say that I just wanted to find something like this bin that I have here uh, in, in bin three. You know, if I wanted to know what was in this bin, how would I do that? Well, if I go to the app here, I could go up here to go to places and go to bins. And right down here, I could see bin number three. And if I just click on that, that tells me everything, everything that I have in this bin and what the value is of it. And so I think that's really cool because, uh, you know, I, I see I got a nine volt battery in there, a three ring binder, zipper. And so I got all these things in there. Now, what if I wanted to, I didn't know what bin it was in and I just wanted to, uh, you know, search for it real quick. And, and maybe I'm looking for that binder or I'm looking for that nine volt door sill battery. How would I do that? Well, it, at the top right here where you have the search, you can just type in battery just like that and then hit enter and it tells you all the batteries that you have notice right here i could see i got that nine volt door cell battery it's the it's located in the kitchen closet in bin number three so i could just click on bin number three and voila i'm right there you know and i know everything that's in this bin and, and it's kind of cool because, you know, if you go to the store or if you're redding up, you don't have to do everything at one time. You could just grab one bin, put a number on it, and just start putting stuff in it. It's, it's just, it's, it's so simple. So you don't have to do your whole house all at once. Just do it one bin at a time. And then where you're storing it, if you notice over here, I have, uh, it's located in the kitchen closet. Oh, and, and the other thing that I updated is you can see the, the total value for number three, for bin number three is $68. So I know that everything in this bin right here is worth $68, okay? So if I want to see what, what else do I have in the kitchen closet, I could just click on this kitchen closet and I see I got a total value in the kitchen closet. It's worth $3,661.85. And so here I have a cordless sawzall. I made this bin be the third shelf because I don't necessarily have a bin for all my merchandise. Sometimes I just throw it on the shelf. And so I want to know what shelf it's on. So there it is. It's, it's right on that shelf. 
So if you click on the particular item, here I could see a, a picture of what it looks like. You know, the value, how much I paid for it, how many of them I have, and of course the total value. But the other thing that I wanted to be able to see is, well, if I would buy that item used like on eBay, what would the price be? And so I included this little button here so that you could see what they would be, you know, what other similar items are on eBay. So you could go ahead and check check that out just and, and get the eBay price. Um, what's another thing that I did? Well, if you go over here to inventory and you just click on inventory, you can page through all your inventory and you go to next page, next page, blah, blah, blah. Or you could go like to page 11 and so on and so forth. Now, uh, it does the same thing on the, on the phones too, but all these pages disappear. You just have previous and next and, uh, some somebody recommended to me that on YouTube that what I need to do is provide a way for them to download it so they could just print out a hard copy. And that's exactly what I did right here. If you go to inventory, click download inventory spreadsheet, it's going to uh, download it instantaneously. And let me just go ahead and open this up and show you what it looks like. It's going to have a uh, comma separated value. And if you have... Uh, if you have like Excel or uh, LibreOffice or something like that, then it will just, you know, download the comma separated values and you'll be able to put it in your spreadsheet. And if you're on your cell phone, like an Android or a tablet, you can add it to your Google Docs, you know, and then, and then share it with whoever or print it out. But this is what it looks like. Let me just click OK. And I'll bring it over here. And here you can see across the top we have merchandise, the price, the quantity, how many we have of them, the location, the bin number, a description if you added one, the condition. And then here is the link to the images, you know, where you upload your images. And, the, and whenever it was added or last modified, I thought that that would be a nice thing for you guys to be able to, uh, to get into. But... But that's it. You just download it. You can print it out. You can make charts out of it. Uh, whatever you whatever you like to do. And uh, let's see here. All the updates I'm just going to keep right here. One of the things that I'm thinking about doing in the future, and you guys could let me know what you think about this, is let's say that you have all these items and they're all stored there. Well, what if I created a button where you could click sell, and then maybe we have a public thing where you you know uh, where you can actually sell your merchandise too. So, if you would like to have that on the app, let me know because there's a lot of stuff that I have that I just don't use, and maybe somebody else can use it. And so that's what I was thinking about doing. Let me know what you guys think about that uh, some other things about this of course it keeps track of your total items your total net worth uh, another update that I created is maybe you wanted to change your bin location so uh, this bin number one we could see that it's in the kitchen closet but maybe I wanted to move it to the office well all you have to do is type in office and then click change and that will make take bin number one now you can see that it's in the office instead of the kitchen closet so if we go to the office we could see that it, it adjusted the value and everything like that but i i, I want to put that back in the in the kitchen closet before i forget because if i don't i'll forget and i'll walk away from this tutorial and be like oh no okay k-i-t-c-h-e-n-c-l-o-s-e-t -E and then i'm just going to put that bin number one back in there so that's pretty much it. I, 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 I wanted this to be quick, simple, fast, and work on every kind of device. Tablet, uh, iPhone, Android phone. You could use this free of charge uh, because I know how important it is to uh, you know, organize your life. You know, uh, one of the things that my sons told me is like, oh, dad, I, I don't want to have to enter everything. Well, what's going to cost you more time? Looking for it later or taking 30 seconds and entering the item in the app? Think about it that way because, you know, it, it, we all have tons of stuff and as we get older we just accumulate the stuff over and over again so i created this so that i could help my friends my family and myself just to be able to find things quickly 
and have a hard copy. This is also good for insurance companies. Uh, if you have a house fire, uh, if somebody steals something from you, you know, you have a record of it. And it's just so easy to do. And it only takes about 30 seconds. Um, and then you have a record of it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. And if you could think of any more updates that you would like to see on the Home Inventory app, I would be more than happy to program it in there. Uh, God bless you. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe below. And I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial.